the people, the headlines, the issues impacting you and your family. This week in Cincinnati on Nine on Your Side. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to This Week in Cincinnati. You know, barely a day has gone by this week without breaking news concerning FC Cincinnati. It's been a January like that, actually, and the team search for a stadium site. The team has talked with the Cincinnati Metropolitan Housing Authority about getting an option to buy property in the Laurel Homes area of the West End, and it has reached out to Cincinnati Public Schools about forming a partnership in that area. All this while we wait to learn if the team will win its bid for an MLS franchise. So joining me to talk about all of that and more is the team's general manager, Jeff Birding. Jeff, thanks for coming in. Happy to be here. Okay, let's start with the start. Any news to tell us? Are we getting it? Are you getting an MLS franchise? Are, it'll, be, it, 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 it'll be a we. It'll be a Cincinnati, and we're not quite there yet. Uh, the process has been a little more involved than we expected back in early December. We appreciate people's patience. Uh, we feel great about our city and, and what we've built here uh, with a lot of support over two and a half years. And, and uh, we hope we're going to host a big party here sometime soon. So let's go back to in December. We thought I think we the sports fans, the people of Cincinnati and maybe you too thought first of January, we're going to know. And now here we are literally walking into February. Um, is that OK? Does that mean that you're not going to get it or just that this is a larger process than you thought? It's fine. Look, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter how you got there or when you get there. It's just that you get there. You want to win. And uh, and uh, it's there's no question the process has been a little more involved, uh, but not in a bad way. Uh, and we go on continuing to build our club for this year. We're going to have a great team. Uh, we might have uh, averaged 30,000 in attendance this year. So uh, we have plenty of work to do. Uh, but there's no question it's been a longer process. And you, you still feel confident? I that do. You feel confident that this will be an, you will get a bid for the MLS team? I, I have a lot of respect for Detroit and Sacramento. Uh, they're great cities. I've been to both Detroit many times with the Bengals. Um, but I feel great about what we've built here. This is a great pro sports town, and, uh, and I think uh, we got a heck, a heck of a good bid. Okay, so there is paperwork for an option for FC Cincinnati to buy property in the West and in that Laurel Homes area. You have yet to sign it. Do you plan to? I don't know. I think it's a little premature. The whole point is, is let's win the bid and then figure out where is the best place to put a 200 million privately financed stadium to do the most good for our community. We do have an option on a site in Oakley, uh, but I did promise city council and the residents of Oakley uh, that we're going to do a, a transportation study. We want to do good for a, a, a community, a neighborhood, and if it's gridlock in Oakley because we built our stadium there, that's not good. That's bad. Uh, and so, um, it, you know, we're going to get the bid, and then if we get the bid, we're going to figure out the very best place, uh, and that's going to involve neighborhoods, stakeholders in the neighborhood, obviously the mayor, city council, the county commission, uh, and others. So, I, I, and because I just don't know, does MLS need you to know exactly where you're putting the stadium before they'll say you get a team, or does MLS know if they're okay knowing that you've got two or three really good options? When, when we went up to New York to meet with the expansion committee, we talked about several really good options. And, and we start with Oakley because Oakley is the one we actually do control the site. We do have the funding support uh, on m most of the infrastructure pending the results of the, tran uh, the, tr the transportation study, of course. Uh, so no, they know we can pull off Oakley, but I made a commitment to the residents of Oakley and to city council that we're going to do a transportation study and we're going to see what the results are. And if the results are the transportation study, uh, once those results come in and I go out and start doing community council meetings and stakeholder meetings and whatnot, if, if the feedback is this transportation study is such that we don't want you in Oakley, I sure as heck better have other options. Has that study, study started? Uh, we understand that uh, work is underway. Uh, I don't have a good answer right now on when it's going to be done, but we'll have some time if we win the bid to get that trans uh, transportation study done before we have to declare the site. You know, I, again, I told Oakley that we're going to do engagement, and I'd say the same thing to any community we're going to be in. We're getting pitched every day on where we should put our stadium still. Oh, yeah? So. Are you getting calls? Do you want to share with us anywhere that's calling I got you? One, I got one on the way here. Oh, really? Someone, a developer pitching a site. So, look, there, I think there's a lot of excitement about this. I understand uh, there's been a lot of false reports out there that are getting people scared. And my commitment is we want this to be a great thing for the city. We will require wherever we go for it to be considered a great opportunity, a great positive 
for the neighborhood in which it goes. We're going to put 200 million in. We don't want it to be something that the neighborhood doesn't want. Okay, so there are you, there are rumors. There are rumors flying all over the city as to what's going on, what's really going on with FC Cincinnati and its site selection. Uh, some saying, oh, you're playing one place against the other, uh, saying that you know you don't want to. You're trying to get land cheaper, so by talking about other options. Uh, they, Help us clarify. A lot of nonsense, really, but I, I understand the interest is there, and, and um, uh, FC Cincinnati gets a lot of clicks. So uh, the, the fact is, is that uh, we've said from June, from the day we announced our stadium design, we talked about three neighborhoods we really liked, and we've called them consistently since June, three winning neighborhoods. Newport would be a winning neighborhood. Oakley would be a na winning neighborhood. So would the West End. I've been asked numerous times, how do you rank them? I rank all three of them as winning neighborhoods. That, and there's multiple sites within a couple of those neighborhoods where we can go. So it doesn't have to be this part of the neighborhood or this, there's multiple sites within the West End, multiple sites. So, so, so that Laurel Homes area, we should not get so, so stuck on that well, site? Well, let me, let me stress this. We're not taking anyone's homes. We're going to increase home ownership. We're going to increase the number of people living in a neighborhood. The notion that we're somehow going to, you know, try to buy people's homes out, move people out of the neighborhood, that's just false. That's made up. Uh, you know, it's a real disservice to the public discussion around this that people are actually putting that out there. Okay, so because we do see the city Ramas now on hold, apparently waiting for the decision on this, and that the home, you know, I, you do look at that plot of land that has an option for you to sign if you so want it. Um, that's been discussed. That's been discussed, I should say. So I don't see how you put a stadium on that tiny little area. Again, people are people are just missing it. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not going to get into particular uh, uh, parcels, but I'll just say this. If we were to build in Oakley, we would have a developer partner in Oakley, okay, where we have a stadium, we have commercial, we have retail, we probably have some residential. Guess what? In Newport, we're gonna, we might have a stadium, commercial, retail, residential. Guess what? In the West End, we might have all of them as well. So the fact that we've at least inquired on some different properties doesn't mean that, that those inquiries are about building the FC Cincinnati Stadium. We're talking about an overall development done in partnership with the community that could be a real home run. If we get the bid, we will do all kinds of community engagement with the stakeholders. All right, listen, we have so much to talk about. We haven't even scratched the surface on some things. We're going to continue that conversation with SC Cincinnati General Manager Jeff Burdy in just a moment. The people, the headlines, the issues impacting you, all on This Week in Cincinnati on 9 in Your Side.